Harry! Harry, we hoped you'd only gone one far place too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, Grade 2, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion vial from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the hearth when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle! <coughs> Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. I'd like to buy that, please. The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. <laughs> Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Thanks very much. Well, Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Japes. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my speller tape, so I think that must be in the leaky cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Japes and the leaky cauldron. Gossip. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on, show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. <laughs> 